So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another prehistoric hunt video. Now this video is going to be quite a special one as a couple of nights ago I had the most insane hunt I have ever had here in prehistoric hunt and as you can see we're gonna get straight into it and this was the first thing I saw that kicked off this absolutely insane hunt. That right there is now Binospinosaurus. I could not believe what I was looking at. This was one of the animals I wanted to find most in this game. They look incredible and this was my first albino ever in this game so really excited to see that now i was trying to track that spinosaurus and unfortunately i got killed by another spinosaurus that was in the exact same area i came back and actually managed to kill this one that had killed me before now i picked up the tracks for the correct spinosaurus the albino and it was unusual because it said that the animal was already wounded. So I knew that that must have meant that there was another predatory dino in the area that it had actually had a fight with, maybe a T-Rex or a Giga. So I was actually really worried that maybe it had been completely ruined and I wouldn't be able to get a high scoring trophy out of that Spino. But either way, I had to bring it down. I wanted to have that albino in my trophy lodge. So you can see that I picked up the stuff that I had dropped when I died, reload my revolver there and I get ready to go and try and track the albino spinosaurus when this happens. A group of compies attack me and as you will see, very obviously, amongst this little group of three, there is an albino. Now albinos are the absolute rarest uh, skin or scale type that you can get in this game, so I could not believe that I had just found my first albino, that being the Spinosaurus, and then I get attacked by my second albino ever whilst in the area trying to track that spino. So here I decided that I was going to try and take that compi with the bow, as the bow actually does give you the difficult gun bonus in the game, which can actually then increase the medal class for that animal. So it can make it a diamond or perhaps even a legendary. Now albinos, as far as I can tell, have the best chances being a legendary because they have the 100% rarity bonus as well so I was really hoping that maybe from one of these albinos I could get that legendary medal. Now I had my suspicions I wouldn't be able to get it from the Spinosaurus due to it already having been attacked by something. I had sort of a suspicion that that probably would have ruined the integrity. I didn't know what it had been attacked by at this point but I still decided that I was going to attempt to take it with the bow. As you will see this is going to to go very badly for me throughout this video. This Spino gave me the absolute runaround and as you will see I actually encountered him again whilst I was trying to track the albino compi. So this was just absolutely insane. Now when I returned I couldn't find the Spino so I carried on tracking the tracks of the compies that were in the area. And here I was trying to make as much noise and make myself as obvious as possible, hoping that I would get attacked by the same ones again. I had already killed two at this point, so I was hoping the albino would be the only one left. And as you will see, we now have the albino actually attacking. Now, these guys do very little damage, so I wasn't worried about letting it take a few bites at me while I was actually trying to line up for a decent couple of bow shots. And as you'll see here, put one arrow into it there and just lining up trying to get down through the back or into the chest and there you go dropped in with two arrows and picking it up you'll see we have a legendary medal albino consognathus or compi as they're more commonly called that is absolutely insane i did not think that my first legendary would be a consognathus i really didn't think a little compi was going to be my first legendary and especially an albino one now, as I mentioned, obviously albinos do have the best chance at becoming a legendary because they have that 100% rarity bonus, but even still, I didn't think I'd get lucky enough to find one of these, so I am absolutely blown away. Lost a little bit of integrity, and I think that was because the first shot hit the head, but I think the second shot was the, the really good one that brought, actually brought it down quickly. And I believe stomach actually counts as a vital in this game, so I think that would have actually counted towards something good. But I just am blown away. I didn't expect to get a legendary so quickly. As soon as I learned that the bow gave the difficult gun bonus, which I know it's weird it being called difficult gun bonus when obviously a bow is a bow, not a gun, 
But as soon as I realised it gave that bonus, I decided that this would be what I tried to take any really rare dinos with, any albinos or any mellas, to see if I could get a legendary. And actually picking this up and seeing that legendary pop up, I was so, so thrilled. Such a cool little dino, really awesome looking, and to get it in such a weird and cool way while I was tracking another albino absolutely awesome so the first albino i ever actually managed to bring down doesn't end up being the spino it ends up being this little guy and honestly at this point i thought the spino might have died i had put a vital hit into it and i was just trying to locate where i thought maybe it had died so i returned to the same area and i spotted that a melanistic gallimimus Everything good on this map was in like one tiny area because that was literally in the area where I had the last track for the Spino before the tracks disappeared. So I was wandering around in that area hoping I'd stumble across either it dead or alive. And uh, yeah, I found that instead. Now I was tracking the Gallimimus here in the same area and I could feel the ground shaking. And then look off to the right of my screen, there goes the melanistic gallimimus running past me. And why is it running? Oh, because the albino spino is there. What the heck? I could not believe what was going on. This was absolutely crazy. And I was actually talking to Killer Kai at the time, um, who also plays this game a lot and she makes some fantastic content. So I will link her channel in the description. Do make sure to go and check her out. But I was messaging her at the time like, help, what's going on? I have no idea what's happening. I had never found an albino, then I find two in the same area, and then a melanistic gallimimus too. I was absolutely just flabbergasted about what was going on. But I decided that I was going to be stubborn and I still wanted to try and get both the gallimimus and the spino with the bow. This led to probably an hour or longer of me chasing this spino around managing to get one hit in it at a time and then dying i really hope in future they improve this system because it's almost impossible to bow hunt a predator like this you need to be able to heal without going into your inventory because if i could use my heals without having to open my inventory i probably would have survived a lot of these encounters because as soon as i see my health go down i'd click the button to use my heals so i hope that that's something that gets changed in the future or maybe maybe nerf their damage a little bit or give us an ability to withstand a bit more damage just because yeah i get that they are predatory and obviously they're going to do a lot of damage but there's game balancing aspects i think that could be slightly improved and some of these shots i end up missing so i was just basically running at this thing with the bow and then dying it was absolutely hilarious but i'm stubborn and i wanted to get this thing with the bow i thought it would be really cool i thought it would be a fun challenge uh it was fun but you're gonna see it, it takes quite a few a few shots and you'll see the arrows slowly accumulating in the spino skin it's actually quite cool to see but finally i put the final shot into this thing and it goes down what a relief and it's a diamond diamond albino spinosaurus now we finally get to see what it was that had actually wounded this guy it was a tyrannosaurus rex now it was actually bitten in the head by the t-rex so i don't know whether that would have meant that it couldn't have made legendary no matter what i did the integrity is quite low at 77 percent, and i'm thinking that that's probably what stopped it from becoming a legendary as it is a large albino so i don't know also i think i lost a little bit of bonuses from you know just my shots not being great not getting a heart shot so i lost some bonuses from just my own mistakes but either way, I'm still really happy to have a diamond albino. It's kind of like getting a gold rare in other games. So this is still really cool. And obviously the dino itself still looks the same. As I've mentioned before, it's kind of more of a hunt rating thing, I think, with the medals to get the legendary and diamond and stuff. Because it has so many bonuses that aren't actually about the size of the dinosaur. So I'm not too worried. I'm really happy to actually still have it for my trophy lodge as a diamond. 
Now, hunting that Gallimimus, finally, to put the end to this story. And there I actually managed to put a very solid, vital hit on it with the bow. I was really happy about that. I thought it might go down. Unfortunately, Aww. it did not go down from that, which was unfortunate. Aww. I ended up tracking it. I managed to get a caller for them, which made life a little bit easier just so that I could call it into within bow range. Here I put another shot into it. Unfortunately, that didn't kill it either. That was just a more of a flesh wound rather than an actual vital hit. So I was a little bit disappointed there. I should have made a bit of a better shot. But it is still... I am still learning to use the bow because it is still a difficult, more difficult weapon. That's why it gets the difficulty bonus. And then here, finally, I managed to call the thing in once again. You can see the arrow sticking in it. And I managed to put what I felt was a very solid chest shot on it. And you will have seen there was a pool of vital blood. It is bleeding. But it was running away. And I was like, is this running away because it's just wounded again? Or is it actually going to die? And I was sort of waiting to see if it would start coming back. Because the Gallimimus in this game are a little bit less sensitive than the other dinos that say that. They will come straight back to where they've just been shot from. They're not exactly uh, the spook, like the ones that are easiest to spook. They're quite easy to hunt, even though this one gave me the runaround saying that. But I couldn't see where it had gone, and then I see it led on the ground finally beautiful looking melanistic and it makes diamond now once again i lost some integrity there it is only 93 percent and i'm wondering again if this could have been a legendary if i did a little bit better so that's unfortunate but then again it's a melanistic so it's only got 66 rarity bonus instead of 100 it's not 100 percent weight bonus either so you know, I lost a few things there, and as well with the shot count bonus, it's only 88%. So if I'd made some better shots, maybe it would have got there, seeing as it's a large. But, you know, at the end of the day, still happy to have it as a diamond. This is the third melanistic Gallimimus I have found. So I hope that I'll get a chance at actually trying to get one of these as a legendary as I get better with the bow. But, yeah... Bit of an insane hunt in this game. Getting my first ever albino, my first ever legendary, and having them as the same dino in the end, which was weird when I had spotted another albino being the Spinosaurus. Absolutely crazy. This hunt was over three hours long, if I remember correctly from the footage recording. And it was just one thing after another it was absolutely crazy and i'm actually really pleased with how it went i know maybe i could have got maybe two or three legendaries but with the spino having already been attacked and like i said still learning the bow and how to use it i'm actually really pleased with how that went and i'm super pleased that i managed to get my first ever legendary dino here in prehistoric hunt I am definitely going to be going after more. There's a few really cool looking albinos that I'd really love to get. And hopefully as time goes on, I'll get better with the bow and make better shots. And hopefully that will lead to more legendaries as well. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying the prehistoric hunt content. I really enjoy making it. So yeah, I would definitely be really keen to hear what you think of the game. It's definitely a lot of fun. And you know, the rares look pretty darn awesome. And I love finding rares in any game. So I love, absolutely love finding the rares in this one. But like I said, that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.